My name is Kristen Whedon. I am with the American Porphyria Foundation. Uh, the foundation has uh, been in existence nearly 40 years and over that 40 years we've done tremendous work in the rare disease space um, specifically for porphyria in education of both physicians and patients in adv advocacy work in um, uh, awareness efforts and it's actually porphyria awareness week this week uh, we're always in april uh, and um, we look forward to many more years of focusing on our patients. Uh, so porphyria is not one disease, but it's a group of eight rare diseases, and it is all based in the heme biosynthetic pathway. So think of it as building blocks that uh, you start with a precursor and you need an enzyme to get that those building blocks to, to fully formed heme. And every time there's a dysfunction in one of those building blocks, it equals a different type of porphyria. And they manifest in very different ways. There are, uh, the best way to categorize porphyria is in two different groups. There are the acute porphyrias and the cutaneous porphyrias. In the acute porphyrias, they are affected by neurovisceral attacks. And in the cutaneous porphyrias, it is with extreme photosensitivity. Um, they are, and again, they manifest in very different ways with the acute porphyrias, but what they do have in common is pain. Uh, all eight of our uh, patient groups or in types of porphyria all manifest or are characterized by extreme pain. With the acute porphyrias, it is horrible, intractable, uh, abdominal pain. Patients describe it as incompatible with life. It also comes with extreme nausea, vomiting, brain fog, peripheral neuropathy. Uh, really difficult disease to, to live with. Um, our patients have been very lucky uh, on the acute side of porphyria that we have had a treatment uh, in place. It was actually penhematin, hemen, was the first approved drug in the early 1980s, the first approved orphan drug after the uh, Orphan Drug Act. So, and now we do have a second uh, potential treatment that is more preventative for the acute porphyrias that is has just completed phase three clinical trials and we're very excited to hear those results which is which are coming out this week.